Good morning guys, it is Saturday, which means it is time for another weekly prep where I like to take you guys along and show you the fun and functional things we do during the weekend to prepare for the week. My name is Sarah, if you're new here, we have three little girls ages seven, four, and one. I am an entrepreneur by day, I'm also watching three little kids, extra little kids, three days a week right now. I run a subscription box, I run my YouTube channel, we're also homeschooling, and then my husband has a crazy busy schedule as well. So it's just balancing all the things. So I love to share practical tips, hacks, advice, decluttering videos, organizing videos, things like that to help moms create balance set sticks and to help you have some motivation. So I like to occasionally do a weekly prep where I take you guys along on our weekends. My husband is already at work today. Um, he worked, I think, at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and so he was already gone when we got up. Girls are up. I got ready and now we're going to make some bulk breakfast, which I do every weekend. I make one big breakfast and then we freeze most of it and then just pull it out once a week and it should last us three more weeks and then I'm on a rotating schedule. So we do pancakes, waffles, egg bites, muffins, sometimes French toast sticks, stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning before we go on a little adventure, just us girls. Normally I change sheets on the weekends in the morning and I hate doing it on the weekend. So our girls had movie night last night and I ran around and changed the sheets like lightning speed last night so I wouldn't have to do it this weekend. So that feels really, really good. So this morning I'm gonna be making two boxes of these protein packed muffin mixes from Kodiak Cakes. My girls love them. I love that they taste good, but they also have a lot of protein to have a nice fun breakfast, but filled with protein. So we use their pancakes, their waffles, stuff like that as well. And then I almost always offer eggs as well. So they have a lot of protein in the morning, but the girls eat at least two of these or at least one and a half of these every time. So 12, you know, um, does not get us through the whole month. So now I'm gonna double it this month. I love this batter dispenser, but it does not work with this muffin mix just because it is so thick. When you guys are watching this, it is already Easter weekend, so happy Easter, but when I'm filming this, it's actually the weekend before. So we start our resurrection eggs a few days ago, so we do one at breakfast, and I just love these. I think it's just a, such a fun visual way to teach your kids about Christ's death and resurrection and why it's important. Can I just say, this is a normal muffin tin. I sprayed it, a lot of stuff still stuck. It was kind of hard to get a few of them out. And this is the Pampered Chef one, and I guarantee you all this stuff will just slide right off. Look at that. Um, it's amazing. I don't even need to spray it, but I did. Um, they are not the most beautiful muffins in the world. Kind of weird shape, but the kids will love them. The girls have been loving making these little houses. Celia made these for everybody, and they lay in them. Brainy's in there listening to the Yodo. I just ran up and picked out each girl's Easter outfit just with stuff that they have. I know they could be perfectly coordinated, but that requires spending money when they have perfectly cute floral springtime dresses and cardigans in my closet already.
baby owl. Oh my goodness, that was the most beautiful time. I love get, getting outside and it's, it's like 40, 50 degrees out, like pretty warm, I guess. Um, just felt so good. It's gonna rain and snow-ish again this next week and it was the last like three weeks it's been like that. So just really nice when it's not and the sun is out a little bit. So we got to go on like a little walk and we love the nature center there. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna make a quick lunch and then it's gonna be rest time. Girls are having crackers, cheese, turkey, cucumbers, and oranges, and I'm having leftover pork tenderloin, some peas, and some random veggies and rice. I just pulled out some meat out of the freezer for meals this week. If you guys didn't see my grocery haul I posted earlier this week, I show my meal plan that's for this upcoming week. And so I'm just gonna throw these in the fridge so they are thawed by the time we need them. Look what Celia made during nap time. A hot air balloon. Isn't that the cutest? Good morning. It is Sunday. I ended up just doing a ton of research for future videos during nap time yesterday. And then we went to my mom's for supper as we usually do. And the girls got to play outside because it was really nice out. Sunday today, we have church. I want to get some laundry done. I got to water the plants, give the girls allowance. I did not pay bills yesterday, so I have to do that during nap. So we got kind of a busy day, but it should be a good day. Santa's off today, so we get some family time. Just having some waffles that we had already had in the freezer with some apples. after church. So just like Gwenny down after we had lunch and the big girls, Brandy wanted to stay up from nap, which she has not really been napping most days, but she just has quiet time in her room. But the girls are playing really nice, so I'm letting them stay up. San has some meal prep to do. I need to pay bills. I need to get some work-life glue stuff done. I'm honestly feeling like I'm getting sick. I'm praying that I am not, please. Um, but I'm just feeling kind of weak. So I'm gonna try to take it a little bit easy. So it's currently about 12.30 right now. Girls are playing quietly. The big girls are in Gwen's down for a nap and I'm doing a little bit of meal prep, not only for myself, but I'm um, doing a little bit of dinner prep as well. I'll show you what we're working with. Okay, so over here I have a big pack of chicken breast that was about like, about four and a half pounds, uh, thinly sliced, and then I got some onions and bell peppers here. Gonna do like a fajita style meal prep um, for the week so that way I can just grab some chicken, grab some bell peppers, toss it in the microwave with some like, you know, cheese sauce, add some sour cream, and throw it in a low carb wrap. That makes it for a quick and easy meal, high protein, very satiating. And over here, we have tonight's dinner, which is garlic butter steak bites. Still playing around with the idea of how I'm trying to actually cook it, either on my griddle, which is a new toy that we just got to <laughs> add to our cooking arsenal, or I'm gonna cook it inside, but it's very windy, so we'll see about that. So this is just um, a pound of, of grass-fed beef sirloin steak tips going to be using that and then the marinade is pretty simple it's going to be honey um, we're going to use some crushed red bell pepper <laughs> crushed red pepper because the girls probably are not going to try this because it's sunday and it's mac and cheese day for them they have um this amazing umami mushroom seasoning it's great it goes wonderful in a lot of things garlic light soy sauce salt and pepper and then we'll probably throw in some bell peppers and mushrooms too into the mix and as it sautés and stuff like that
chicken is all done. I'll be able to just grab from here whenever I'm feeling hungry. Celia so got this from her Sunday school teacher, so I'm gonna split it among the girls and maybe add some extra stuff in for snack. Ugh, laid down, took like, I don't know, I probably slept for 15, 20 minutes. I don't know, I just feel something coming on. I'm really hoping I'm wrong, but I think we're gonna try to build outside. It's super windy, but it's warm enough, so we're gonna get outside. All right, we're starting supper prep right now. So we have a big pan for fried rice, this cast iron for the steak bites, and that pan right there for mac and cheese. We have everything kind of ready to go. It's gonna go pretty quickly. There's Celia, and then we got the mac and cheese over there. And it's just important to have all your prep kind of ready to go, especially making fried rice because things move pretty quickly. butter and the milk for the mac and cheese. Supper is done for us. The girls have mac and cheese, vegetables, fish sticks, a little bit of rice. Here are the garlic sirloin beef tips with fried rice and mixed vegetables well. Looks really tasty. Every Sunday night for dinner we fill out one of these sheets from this is from my subscription box if you guys are interested. I still have a few left over and we just write one thing that we loved about the week and then we just keep them in here and we'll check back on them every few months. I already gave the girls a bath while Sam was making supper. I love being able to do it before supper so we can just hang out until bedtime. We don't have to rush to get baths done. If you guys have seen some of the products from the Work Life Blue Box that you think might be fun, um, I am actually doing a Mother's Day surprise box, which is priced lower than my normal box, and I'm using excess inventory from past boxes to put together a surprise box. And you can pick one product that you want or ask that I surprise you, but every single box will also have my monthly family planner decal, which I love and we use every single day to look at to see about our week. But the value of that box will probably be at least $65 or more and I'm pricing it at $50 and that's with shipping. So if you guys have been wanting to try out the Work Life Glue Box, this would be a great way or tell your hubby or your mom or your dad that you want that for Mother's Day. Um, as long as you order and you're in the United States, if you order before the end of April, you should get it by Mother's Day. Canada, I will ship to Canada, but just make sure you put in your order sooner just to make sure you get it in time. Aiden stopped her story and turned to see Hello. what, Hello. what Shining Armor was talking about. Kitchen is tidy, dishwasher is running, dining room is all picked up, living room is all picked up, besides a few books. This mama is tired and ready for bed. We had such a fun time at the park tonight and the girls were exhausted. Um, also, while I'm on here, this clock has, it's going, like it's working. The battery's been changed. It's ticking and it's moving, but the time never stays right. So if you guys know anything about fixing that, I do not want to replace this clock. It's a perfect clock for here. I also don't want to replace the hands if I don't have to, but I know nothing about fixing a clock. So if you guys have any ideas or know what to do, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna call it a night. I really, really hope I'm not getting sick. I have a date with some more laundry before bed and then I'm up and watching three extra little girls tomorrow and homeschooling and doing all the things, running a subscription box and editing these videos. So I need to get some sleep and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a good weekend and a happy Easter and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.